Okay, now many people are going to get this problem wrong, not because they don't know how to add, subtract, multiply, and divide numbers, but because they've kind of never really mastered some basic concepts about mathematics. Now, I'm not going to tell you what those are uh, because I want to give you a full opportunity for you to do this problem all on your own without the aid of a calculator. So put that thing away. All you need is that supercomputer that resides right here, right in between your ears. That's so much better than any artificial intelligence. That's actual intelligence. So you're definitely uh, capable uh, for doing this problem. But the key here, or the main question is, do you have some of these really big picture math concepts down? Okay, I think a lot of students or a lot of people think they know math better than they actually do. But uh, no problem here. If you get this wrong, well, this is going to be a great opportunity for me to teach you some real basic important things about mathematics. But uh, anyways, if you could do this problem, let me go ahead and read it to you. It's 60 divided by parentheses, 9 plus 3 times 10 divided by 2 minus 4 in parentheses. So that is the problem. And if you could figure this out, again, without the aid of a calculator, Put that answer into the comment section. I will show you the correct answer here in just one second. And then, of course, I will walk through the solution step by step, and we'll talk about these very important math concepts that you must understand if you're going to be uh, successful in mathematics. Now, before we get started, let me quickly introduce myself. My name is John, and I have been teaching middle and high school math for decades. And uh, really is my true passion to try to make learning math as easy as possible. So if you need assistance in mathematics, check out my math help program at tcmathacademy.com. You can find a link to that in the description below. And if this video helps you out, don't forget to like and subscribe as that definitely helps me out. Okay, so here's the problem. Again, we're not going to use our calculator. Let's go ahead and take a look at the answer. The answer is three. Okay, so how did you do? Well, hopefully I got this right, and if in fact you did, let's celebrate by giving you a nice little happy face and A+, plus, a 100%, and multiple stars, so you could brag to your friends and family that indeed you are a certified professional expert in the area of order of operations and number operations and just basic mathematics. They'll be like, well, that's pretty cool. Well, come speak to me when you, uh, you know, get A pluses in algebra, but listen, uh, this is what we call arithmetic, this level of math. But if you don't understand arithmetic or this kind of basic stuff, no way you're going to be, uh, six, you know, uh, uh, you're going to be kind of ready to take on more interesting things like algebra. So you never want to minimize your, uh, you know, doing a basic math problem. Like, yeah, that's easy, that stuff. Well, no, you'll be surprised how many people uh, get basic math problems wrong. Now, of course, it's basic to some of you out there that might have already taken algebra or high school or college math, but uh, maybe you're learning this stuff for the first time. So if you didn't get this right, don't despair. I'm going to fully explain this problem right now. Okay, so let's go ahead and take a look at the problem. And when we look at the problem, uh, we notice that we have different operations. Okay, we have division, addition, multiplication, division, subtraction. Like, boy, where do I start here? Okay, do I do addition, subtraction, multiplication, division? Maybe I do powers. Now, we don't have powers in this particular problem, but here's the deal, okay? Uh, depending on what order we take, we're going to get different um, values, different answers, okay? Now, of course, more, there's only one specific way to do this problem. And in mathematics, these things here, like addition, division, multiplication, subtraction, these are called mathematical operators, okay? So it's very, very important that we know the correct order of operations and we can uh, kind of remember the correct order of operations by this little phrase right here or this acronym. Uh, this is what we would call PEMDAS, right? P-E-M-D-A-S. And there's a lovely little phrase that goes along with this, a little mnemonic a memory aid, if you will. That is, please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. Please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. Now, I don't know what Aunt Sally did, but we thank her for her cool little phrase anyways. Now, some of you are like saying, hey, I don't even know what you're talking about. You're just telling me this is PEMDAS. What does it all mean? Well, let's go ahead and get into this right now. Okay, so when we are looking at a math problem that has more than 
uh, one uh, operation, okay, like addition and multiplication or division, we need to kind of keep in mind uh, this PEMDAS. Okay, so what does this mean? Well, let's go ahead and, and uh, start um, explaining this, or I'll start explaining it now. But first things first, this is effectively a checklist. Okay, we're going to be going from left to right. All right, we're going to start with this P here, and the P stands for parentheses. Okay, so if you see parentheses, of course, we have parentheses. Uh, you're going to do that stuff first, or whatever's inside those parentheses. But it doesn't have to be these type of parentheses. It could be brackets like this, or these squiggly kind of brackets. So it's really grouping symbols. Now, uh, when there's a problem, when there's multiple parentheses, you're always going to go to the innermost parentheses first. Okay, so that is what P is. E is power. So look, if you have two to the third power, that's what you would do next. Now, some of you might be saying, well, how come they don't put like a P there? Well, that would be kind of confusing, right? But two to the third power, this little three up here is called the exponent. This two uh, is called the base. Okay, so when you have a power, like two to the third power, we have different parts of the power. So this three up here, this little number in the top right is called the exponent. So that's what this E stands for. Okay, so we're going to go to the parentheses. We're going to work inside parentheses. If we see any powers, we're going to do that next. Now we come to the part of uh, uh, the PEMDAS or the order of operations that most students confuse. Okay, now before I tell you that, let's just quickly uh, define what M, D, A, and S stand for. So if you're thinking, oh, is this multiplication, division, addition, and subtraction, you would be correct. Now, I did tell you this is a checklist going from left to right. So uh, effectively, we would say, all right, we're going to do multiplication always, and then division, and then at the end, the addition or subtraction. But that's not the way it works, okay? At this point, this is really two groups, okay? So the next step is multiplication or division, whatever you see first from left to right. So if you see multiplication and then division, you're going to do it this way. If you see division, then multiplication, you'll do it this way because division is what we see first from left to right and addition and subtraction work the same way. Okay, so that is uh, PEMDAS, uh, the order of operations. And again, this is uh, a very important uh, basic math concept that a lot of students uh, really uh, don't know as well as they uh, think they know it, right? They're like, oh yeah, I under, uh, you know, you hear this all the time as a math teacher. I know that, I know that. Yes, I know what PEMDAS is. Well, you, you really don't understand it as well as you do. And oftentimes, I don't think it's the fault of the students. I don't think this is explained strongly enough in most uh, textbooks. But uh, anyways, there you go. There's an explanation. So now we, now we need to apply this uh, in this problem. Okay, so let's go ahead and start. And uh, we'll always kind of keep that PEMDAS in mind, right? So with PEMDAS, you don't have to write this down. But, you know, in your head, you need to kind of be thinking, all right, PEMDAS, are there any parentheses? Of course there are, right? So we have some parentheses here. So what we have to do is focus on doing all the math that's inside of these parentheses. Okay, so this little part of our checklist isn't concluded until we are finally done with all the work that we need to do inside. Okay, so now I'm kind of scanning inside the parentheses and I'm looking, do I have any powers? Uh, nope, don't have any powers. So do I have any multiplication division? Yes, okay, I have multiplication right here and division right here. So which one am I going to do? I'm going to do the one that I see first from left to right, which of course would be multiplication. All right, so let's go ahead and take that step now. So here it is. So here's our parentheses. And notice, uh, by the way, I'm just doing this one step at a time, okay? Now, of course, I'm uh, writing this out, you know, a little bit more thoroughly because I want to explain this to you. But when you do your work, just take one step. Don't do multiple steps. Tell the story one mathematical sentence at a time. Okay, so 3 times 10, that's what we need to do. It's inside parentheses. So 3 times 10, of course, is 30. All right, so that's our first step. But uh, again, we still have more work to do inside of, parentheses, of the parentheses. So we're going to continue on and look inside those parentheses. And we're, we're, we're kind of, you know, staying or, or kind of keeping that PEMDAS phrase to ourselves. And we're like, all right, uh, I'm inside the parentheses. There's no powers. Is there any multiplication? No, I already took care of that. Is there any division? Yes. Okay, so I got to take care of the division, right? Division is definitely going to come before addition and subtraction. So 30 divided by 2 is 15. 
Okay, notice again, I'm just writing one step at a time. Now, some of you might be saying, yeah, I don't like to do all that writing. I just like to just do it real quick. I can do this stuff in my head. Guess what? That's how you'll get problems incorrect. Okay, <laughs> you're going to make a lot of errors. Uh, I probably graded maybe uh, maybe 10 million homework, to, maybe not that many, but you, you get the idea. I've seen all the errors, and I can't tell you how many times students would say, oh, look at, you know, because they didn't write the steps out. They just kind of jumped in or they were kind of being sloppy or neat. And then, you know, I have to take points off, like minus eight, and then they become very angry. They're like, what are you talking about, Mr. Uh, math teacher? I knew that. I knew that. Look, look, this is, I knew it. You, you could see, you know. Well, listen, if you don't show it, uh, if you don't write it, you're not going to get credit for it. So just take my advice. Don't learn these lessons, these hard lessons, you know, on your own. Just, just you know, hey, there's a lot of things I can't do. One thing I can do pretty well is mathematics and, you know, teach math. So, yes, write each step out. Okay, so let's continue on with the prompt. Sorry to uh, digress there, but, you know, if I stop and make a point, like the point I'm making there, that's because it's extremely important, right? And if you don't listen to me, even though you understand these concepts, you're going to, you know, make errors, all right? We don't want to have that happen. Okay, so we have 30 divided by 2. That, of course, is 15. But we now... Where we still have work to do inside of the parentheses. So we're still thinking about PEMDAS, right? So P E M D A S. So we're down to addition and subtraction. So we'll handle the addition before the subtraction. So we're getting there. We're pretty close to finishing this problem. But again, we don't want to rush through. Uh, we just want to kind of take it one step at a time. Now, I'd like you to take one step at a time. And that is to subscribe to subscribe to my channel and hit that notification button. You have no idea of the positive impact this has on my channel. I've been on YouTube for many years. It is an awesome platform for me to uh, be able to teach. I am obsessed with teaching math because I'm so kind of uh, heartbroken that so many people struggle in mathematics. Okay, you, you know, you read the news. They're talking about people not, you know. Uh, being proficient in math, there's te uh, teacher shortages, you know, that uh, that doesn't sit well for, uh, with me. So for me, I'm like, I'm going to get out there, I'm going to try to teach math in a clear and understandable way, okay, especially in a non-textbooky kind of manner, okay, because if you read a textbook or if you're taught math in a very, you know, technical way, you know, one, it's boring, and two, most people don't understand that, right? I can kind of give you a formal lecture on the order of operations where we're going to do new, uh, simplify numeric expressions by taking the strict procedures of blah, 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 blah. Nobody wants to hear that. What we want to do is understand math uh, such that we can do it without watering you know, things down. But anyways, your subscribership really is a uh, vote of confidence for me. And I really kind of look at that as you being my student. By the way, on my channel, I have 2,000 plus videos. You'll find videos uh, from basic math to advanced math type calculus and everything in between. And I am posting uh, math videos daily. Okay, back to the problem. So here we go. So we have 60 divided by parentheses, 9 plus 15 minus 4. Again, we are not done uh, with the parentheses, so we're still working that. And now we're going to take the addition before subtraction. Okay, now in this case, uh, Technically, you wouldn't. Uh, you would still get the right answer if, even if you did what um, did the subtraction first. But we're just going to follow the strict order of operations, just to kind to you know kind of uh, practice these disciplines. So we have nine plus fifteen, which of course is twenty-four. So now I'm down to sixty divided by parentheses twenty-four minus four and parentheses. So I'm not done with the parentheses yet. Just one more step, and we're almost there. So twenty-four minus four, of course, is twenty. All right, so finally we are done with uh, the parentheses. So technically you can kind of drop these parentheses. So now we have 60 divided by parentheses uh, 20, but we don't even have to write those parentheses. If there's nothing uh, to do there, uh, we just we can express the problem this way. So 60 divided by 20 is, of course, 3. Okay, so if you did this problem correct, okay, but you kind of didn't write out all the steps, all right, you kind of like, you know, kind of, took some, um, that's basically here, I guess, you know, one metaphor is, you know, you're just taking one step at a time. If you're taking a journey, you're going to just take one step at a time. If you're trying to leap, okay, <laughs> you're like, hey, look at me. I'm going to get to the same location, but I'm going to kind of just do these big leaps. Well, it's going to require a lot of energy 
and you kind of run the risk of you know falling down okay that's not a smart way to travel same idea in mathematics okay in other words take one step at a time double check or triple check as you go you don't want to just be like you know uh you know try to take these big leaps and not show your work i know i'm making a big um, deal out of out of this but this is how people get these problems wrong it's not because in a, they can't do these basic math operations even if you understand the order of operations if you're not telling the story being neat organized and structured i'm telling you right now you're increasing your probability of making an error like by 99 percent okay so again i implore you to be neat take your time structured and over time you'll get better and you'll get faster at uh, mathematics now for those of you that um, uh, got this problem wrong it's possible uh, you, you got it wrong because maybe you didn't show all your work but uh, here's the deal uh, there's a big difference between you watching this video and understanding oh okay i get that that's not enough in terms of uh, you uh, improving your own math skills okay yeah, i kind of you know i'll just leave you with another metaphor because i think they're just so good if you wanted to get good at basketball would you just watch tv and watch these basketball players like on the nba or college basketball all day long you're like looking i'm watching them i must be better at uh, basketball i must be getting better no that's not the case uh, you have to go practice you must practice math in order to get math is a skill you must practice right now let's suppose you're like okay i'm going to practice basketball i'm going to shoot my basket here oh look at i made the basket i am done i am an expert uh in making baskets in basketball because you made one basket no that's not the case right you want to kind of shoot over here you want to have more challenging shots same thing in math math is a skill and if you're not willing to put in the work you're not going to get good at math but uh, before you even do that uh, you know do the work what you need is great instruction okay and i kind of liken that to proper technique to shooting a basketball and that's what i try to do is give you that instruction but once you have that instruction you need to practice it so uh, a couple of quick suggestions here if you want to get better at the order of operations or basic mathematics uh, two things one i have a ton of additional videos on my youtube channel that you can um, that can help you out in this particular area but uh, I have a great little uh, boot camp math course uh, for basic mathematics uh, that goes over fractions, order of operations, percent, decimals. Uh, it's called uh, my uh, Math Foundations course. So that's an excellent course for those of you that uh, are kind of getting back into math or need help with you know, this level of arithmetic kind of basic mathematics. You'll find links to that in the description below. But uh, anyways, with that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematics adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.